So right now I am at Bob's Broiler in Downey, California. You guys know this place. I've shown it in a few videos. This is where they film License to Drive, Earth Girls Are Easy, a whole bunch of movies, but that's not what we're doing today. Today we are going to downtown LA to check out filming locations for a music video. I think probably my favorite Madonna song. I, I go back and forth between this song and Like a Prayer, but this was my original favorite Madonna song. We're checking out filming locations for the music video for Borderline. And I'm not by myself today. I've got a friend with me. I just, I don't know where, up. Oh, there he is, Scott. What's going on, Scott? <laughs> not, not much, look. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you guys know Scott on tape. You all know Scott on tape. Maybe not. If, if for some reason you don't know Scott, head over to his channel right now, watch his videos and See? subscribe. <laughs> so, <laughs> Scott and I are about to head to downtown LA to check out these filming locations. Yeah. Are you excited, Scott? I am. All right, well, we have got a lot of locations to look at. I yelled so... that. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I yell that? Okay. All right, well, we have got a lot of locations to look at, so. Let's go see what we can find. And this is it right here. The beginning of the video starts right here under this bridge. You can see right now they're doing construction. There's a bunch of trash cans. There's uh, Scott hanging yeah. out. And uh, this is where it starts though. If we come right over here, we can get pretty much that same shot from the beginning That's of the it, video. right there. Yeah. And actually right here where these trash cans are, is where the kid is doing that, uh, like you, exorcist. Which you would like me to kinda, do. Yeah, so yeah, I'd like, thing. So, yeah. yeah. I if cannot you, do it. Okay. You can do better than that. No, all but right. But you know what's cool about this location? So you've, I mean, Grease location right around the corner. Right. License to drive. Now, I, I moving from the 2000s, and I did locations for Anchorman. Ah, you remember Anchorman? That's yeah. the fight between the news anchors and the original Anchorman? Yeah. Vince Vaughn. And um, who else is in the original one? Well, uh, Paul Rudd. No, yeah, no? yeah, yeah. No, yeah, sorry, the four, the four of them. But I'm yeah. talking about they, all the rival teams okay. come. They have the fight right there, right in that parking lot. And that stairwell, which we will get to in a moment, is the stairwell that Ben Stiller's character comes running down. Hmm. He's a Spanish news, so it's right there. So there's lots of cool stuff in this area. But Borderline was yeah. my because I, I re, I'm a huge Madonna fan, and when I was a kid. Obviously, we all thought Madonna was the hottest, and she's beautiful, and she looks amazing in this video. And it was my, that was the, my, probably everybody's first exposure to Madonna was mm. Borderline. Yeah, probably. And it was my first exposure to her, and since then I've exposed myself quite a bit. Uh-oh. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! And then if we turn the camera around and we look this way, this is where the kids are kind of going in that circle, doing almost like a slow motion musical yeah. chairs. Kind of like a dance and a hop sco hopscotch dance is what yep. they're doing. Yep, yep, yep. Scott, maybe you can go demonstrate? Yep. Yeah, okay. While they're doing that. And then Madonna's got the she's jean jacket, uh -huh. red, red shoes or red socks. She's got a scrunchie. Yeah. Because we all wore scrunchies. Well, not all of us. In the 80s, most of us did. Scratch it here, scratch it here, scratch it here. Now, now, what's the most amazing thing that we just discovered? This is so crazy. If we look right up there, Scott, go point to it for me. Yeah. That, that is right... visible. That has not been power washed in a long time. I can't believe it looks exactly the same. That splatter is exactly so they get a how shot you see it. Kind of right from where you are, and you see the back of the tunnel here. Well, not tunnel, I mean, underneath the bridge, yeah. the side of that building. I'm just, I'm just still blown away by that. This is a ladder. real artsy district. Like if you come yes. here on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon, Instagrammers, YouTube, yep. everybody's here doing something. And then all these buildings, they're all little tiny studios, little artist camps and stuff like that. It's really yep. cool. And then right here across the street from the bridge, this is where Madonna and the dancers are. You could see that stone wall that he's pointing at. It, uh, it had some like sheet metal above it, which might have just been there for the video. It maybe was here before uh, and they have since removed it. But this is where they're dancing and they do that little, they do a little kick. 
I've been rehearsing this all day. Okay. They do the kick. Right here. It's like that. Oh. But more. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> and now this is really recognizable, even though you only see it for a split second in the video. These are the stairs coming off of the 4th Street Bridge, and this is where the photographer comes walking down. He sees Madonna and her friends. They're dancing right over there yeah. underneath that bridge. He comes walking down off of these steps, and you can see everything. You can see those arches there. That's all the same. They just they added this, uh, this black fence right here that kind of blocks it, but other than that, the camera is now looking this way as the photographer approaches Madonna and her friends. And you can not only see the 4th Street Bridge here, but you can also see this building, which looks exactly like it did. But once again, it's now blocked by this tree. So they're right here, they're dancing, and the, the photographer comes over and he's talking to Madonna. And that's when her boyfriend gets involved and says, no, I don't think so. And again, you can see all of this right here. Now look, there's Scott coming towards me, playing the role of the photographer. I was just going to say that for us, when we do filming locations, stuff like trees that get in the way of the perfect shot. Garbage cans are one thing that are here, but trees are the most annoying things because they mess up all of our shots. Yeah. And I think I speak for 75% of the world when I say, why do we need these trees? Uh oh. Can we not chop them down? <laughs> Is this wrong to say? <laughs> no, I mean, come on, it's ruining your shot, right? But just try and understand. I've given all I can. And you got the best of me. Doot, 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 doot. And her boyfriend watches at the top of the stairs as she gets into the photographer's car, which would have been parked right over here in front of this wall. You can see those, uh, those openings right there with the arches. You can see those right behind the car. Yeah, and a flat wall behind it. Yep. Fun fact about the photographer. You know the photographer uh -huh. in the video? I was actually originally cast to play that role. I got fired. You think it's because I was too young? Too young looking? No. Too hot. Ah. They said I look too hot next to Madonna. Canned. If, if anybody wants to fact check that, just don't. Don't. Yeah, don't bother. Don't. There's no, Google doesn't work. Google's down right now. Yeah. Don't Google it. Yeah, just, so, it is what it don't is. Don't Google it. And I'm sure you all recognize this. This is the photographer's studio. There's a U-Haul truck parked right there in front of that door on the left side. And then that roll-up gate right in the middle that says safe safe. That's where, uh, that's where they pull into the building. And we get the shot looking from inside as the car pulls into the building. Did you already let them know we cannot get in? Yeah, so you, yeah. We, uh, I was able to talk to, I talked to these people very, very nice people. Uh, unfortunately though, that's not the unit where the video was filmed. It was right next door here. And uh, you can kind of see in the, you won't be able to get it on camera, but if you look through, like there is like a little bit of a mirror thing, but you can see in on the right hand side, there's a bathroom on the left hand side, you can see into a darkened studio. Hmm. So that's where it would have been right there, yeah. right there. And it's so frustrating. We can't get in. But what's funny about this location is, it's literally a two minute walk from the bridge from where we just were. Yep. I mean, he didn't take her very far. Yeah. So Wait, in the video, now I'm trying to remember, is he trying to get with her or is he really a photographer? Or is he just like a slime ball? Well, you know, you know what the, you know what the- Well, we're all like, we're all, we're all right. slime, all YouTubers, photographers. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got it. I, <laughs> loud know, and clear. He was planning on it and then she spray paints the car. Right. Oh, and that's, that's and, then, and then the next scene, she's, but you know, he gives her the boot. She's by herself again. Oh, she went over the borderline. She did. She so. certainly did. All right, we are at our final location. We are here. Uh, the, it's not really here anymore. Right here is where the pool hall was. This is where it was. Unfortunately, it's been torn down, but there are still a couple of things that you can match up. So it would have been right here on the side of the building where Madonna's hanging out with her friends. And then 
she sees her boyfriend. He's standing outside of the pool hall over here. Well, is he still her boyfriend, really, after well, what she did? Yeah, no. Well, not in her mind, maybe. In mm -hmm. his, no. She's over here, and she gives him the kissy faces. She walks over here, and she tries to give him a kiss, but he ain't having it. No. And then after he says, no way, she's sad. She walks up, and she gives the pole a little kick. I tried, uh, yeah, it, it was just one, but yeah. Well, I'm I, angrier. I tried to get Scott some uh, some orange heels and some green socks, but. I size 13, you're yeah, not Yeah, I couldn't find, find him in his size, yeah. And then the camera is shooting from inside the pool hall. Madonna is looking at the camera. Scott is standing in for Madonna right now. I've done it many times. Yeah, and you can see that building right across the street. That building still looks the same. Look at those windows on the side. Same windows. And then after she gets the boot from the photographer, she's walking right in front of this building. She's walking, looking all sad, and her friends are hanging out right here in front of the pool hall, and they're excited to see her. That takes place right there. Thumbnail. So yeah, this parking lot, this is where the pool hall was. So you can imagine somewhere over here is uh, where the pool table was where her boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, whatever, was playing pool. What's always amazing is when you find empty lots, like I just filmed an empty lot from a very famous movie, how small it is. Yeah. And yeah. you think a building was actually here? Right. But yeah, it would have been right here. Yep. Why tear it down and leave this building? Yeah. Music history, man, it gets torn down all the time. Yep. All right, so that's it. Madonna borderline locations. What did you think, Scott? Well. I've been to these locations before, not uh, the pool hall, but to the bridge. And I recognized the bridge when I did it uh, for Anchorman. And like I said, it's one of my favorite Madonna songs. And uh, this was a lot of fun. And yeah. speaking specifically for me to you, there's something in the way you love me that just won't let me be, Kurt. And I don't want to be your prisoner. So baby, I, I can't set you Won't free. Won't you set me I free? I can't do it. Am I stuck on the 80s Life Channel you forever? You are. You are here. That's it. No more Scott on tape. You're not All going right. back to Toronto. It'd be a lot easier if we just filmed together. Yeah, and it would. One day you go out and film, one day I go out and film. Yeah, and then you don't have to keep traveling. You're yeah. just here. Yeah. What about so, my dog, though? Uh, well, have him, have him shipped. Yeah, I'm FedEx wrapped up in duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Scott, thank you no so problem, much this is awesome. for uh, thank you so much for doing the video with me today. It was a ton of fun. Thanks for a ton being of fun. Here. I know it's so it's so weird being filmed without me filming. Okay, let me do this. No problem, man. That was awesome. Thanks for having you me on feel, the channel. You feel better now? Yeah, this this is what this is what it should be like. Or like an open mic. <laughs> who who here's from Cleveland? <laughs> okay, I'll speak slower. All right, I just flew in from. Uh, <laughs> this guy. Yeah, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. From 80s life and Scott on tape. We'll see you next time. Bye everyone, thanks. All right, well we have got a lot of locations to look at, so let's go see what we can find. Hey look, What's... I found a dandelion. This guy, all right, I'm out of here. <laughs>